Hello, I'm Scott Brown and welcome to Green Wind and other home energies. This is a ceiling fan motor. If you hold your ceiling fan motor like this and bang all the way around the outside, a little bit by little bit, you can get that shell off. This is a whole shell. It doesn't have a piece of uh, stator, stator sticking out the side. The shell actually overlaps. You can see by the paint line. There we go. Prying these, you can bend them. I'd rather tap on alternate sides till it comes off. That's the hole for the bearing. You can see these holes right here are the holes for the blades to go on. Underneath that, I have all these. And you put your blades on, you don't want your bolts to hit these. You're going to have to use different bolts. Save the bolts that came out of that other piece so you can match the thread. Take that piece down, to you, uh, down with you down to the hardware store to get your stainless steel bolts. You need strong bolts. Okay, on this one, I'm not going to go into too much. The, uh, if you can see inside to the back, you can see this other bearing right there. It's the same, this bearing on the shaft is the same distance as this is over here. You can take that other side off and put it on this side. If your wires are on the same side, sides as your bolt holes are. That's just a small point. Now I'm going to get into something else for somebody else. Here's one, somewhat completed. Take you a nice quick close up. Explain a few things quickly. Notice how this piece of metal here goes around like this and is split right here to get the wire in. And then it's the same thing over here. These two pieces of metal join right here and come through and out here so that a magnetic force on this pair run through these two coils. Then, I had them set up like this. From here to here, magnetism flows through these coils. These coils here on the outside. So these are firing, then these are firing, then these are firing, these, then these. This is one whole magnet uh, coil set. This is another coil set. You wind up with these two sets 90 degrees out of phase. 180 degrees out of phase would be from this one to this one. Because this one's doing positive while this one's doing negative. While these two are at zero, well, while this coil phase is at zero, these ones are at peak. Anyway, just to show you, it doesn't take much to light up all of these in series. These are 3.6 volts a piece. I'm just kind of doing this. It's about 60 RPM worth. One rotation per second. Going twice as fast as 120. And there we are. This is steel banding. It takes the place of our stator material, uh, of our, uh, excuse me, our induction ring. I throw the induction ring out. Now you notice the bolt hole. I don't want to put these magnets in path of the bolt hole. I can add another set of magnets right next to these and north, north, south, south, north, north, south, south, all the way around because these are pairs of stator material. Each one of these coils takes up two or a pair of these little outside landings. And you can get twice as much out. Twice as much voltage means that you can get twice as much power out with the same amount of amps that this wire is only be able to take care of. Anyway, that's the quick supplemental uh, to that. 60 watt light bulb right here. Which I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. I'll crank her up here a bit. Oop, missed it. Ah, I can do better than that. Ah. Anyway, that's off of one winding. Another thing. This magnet goes to this coil. If I put another set of magnets right here next to it, I could double my voltage thus doubling my power. So I'd have north, north, south, south, north, north, south, south. Anywhere you see the coil is one polarity and then the next polarity. 
all the way around. So I can double my power. And what I lit this off of was one set of coils, not this set. I tried them both. They're both doing about the same voltage. And with this, doesn't quite make up the gap. But that's okay. As long as I cover up some of it, and have it where it fits down. That's not going to move, and especially when the bolts come down on it. Here's the plan. This is the back side. It's not quite as deep as this one. So, all right, this is the side that I want my wires to go out. And also, there's no bolts coming out of here. So, on this, I have rerouted my wires out this way, coming out this side, and because there's no bolts on this side, this is where I've got all these connections on the same side. Now, if I need to make this thinner, there's an option, and I, the bearing used to come to right here. I have ground down to about here. And actually I went about that much too far, but that's okay. What I did, I stuck it on the bearing in the clamp, and I spun it as I ground down to here, watching and measuring the whole time with calipers to make sure it was nice and even. Then I slowly turned it and looked for the high points and just knocked them off. Then I tried the bearing. It's a little tight. That's okay. We knock her down. I'm going to put this inside here. Now, if you want and you have enough room on this side, you can put your rectifiers in here and then run wires out. I choose to do it outside the motor where I can work on them and do what I want. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this cover tapped on. See how much deeper it sets in there now. Let's get this ring all the way down. We haven't glued this yet. We need to. Okay, so it's set down much deeper. I can put the magnets in here and they're nice and sturdy and then I have a nice edged for the other side to fit on and it closes up all the gap now. Notice I did all the grinding on the back side. This is the side where all the bolts come through for the, for the wind turbine. It's best to mount your blades and then grind your bolts off on this side get rid of as much as possible leave about that much sticking through for strength and you ought to be fine now what I'm gonna do off camera to save time is I'm gonna put glue inside this little gap here where the curl is an exact and that'll make it work a lot better and the magnets will be a nice uniform distance away. I'm going to glue it all down here. I'm going to start at this edge and I'm going to go all the way around on the outside and in between the two layers where it comes out to three layers here. I'm going to squeeze this down. I'm going to squeeze against everything and then I'm going to pinch this way which actually helps it a lot better and it's going to dry. After that I'm going to start putting the magnets in and I will super glue them so they won't move anymore and we'll put the cover on and we'll go ahead and hook it up and see what she can do.